the key, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to like living the life that you want to live in. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I should be like Adrian Villon. Hey guys, is that what she does? She does something like, hey everybody. What's up you guys? For the very first time I have with me here, Mariah. I love Adrian Malone's channel. Definitely one of my favorite channels to watch. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Adrian Malone. She's super inspirational. And speaking of inspiration, we are going to be doing a inspirational dream board <laughs> inspirational video today. Okay. So for today's video, I decided to bring my sister Nika along. You guys have seen her in a couple of my videos before. Say hey, Nika <laughs> to everyone. <Hi. laughs> Pretty much um, every year, I do a dream board. Usually in the beginning of the year. Um, it keeps me inspired. I love doing them. It's very arts and crafty, which is also very fun for me as well. And I just love to get creative and like take some time out to just think about my goals and just get inspired. So I have made a dream board for, uh, I don't know, the past five years and I keep them. So I'm kind of like collecting them. You know what I'm saying? And I showed Nika them. She sees them all the time because I usually keep them like in my little office area to where I can see them every day or like when I'm working or whatever. And I do look at it every day, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> so she has seen it, she likes, you know, how it looks and like the whole idea behind it. Have you ever done a dream board before? No. So this is going to be her first dream board, which is super exciting. Okay. So it is mid 2020, you know, and it has been a freaking crazy year, but it's cool, you know what I'm saying? We all need a little refresher. So that is what we're going to be doing today, even though it's mid 2020. And it's we, never too late to do, do a dream board. Exactly. It's never too late to do a dream board. So we are just going to get re-inspired for this year. You know what I'm saying? The year ain't over yet. It's a lot of great things that can still happen. So being that I already made a dream board, I'm actually going to be doing more of like a lifestyle board. So um, just some, you know, materialistic things that I want. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> some that I might need. But Nika is going to be doing a dream board, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's your inspiration today behind your dream board? What made you want to do it? Or is it just because I asked? I was like, let's do this. No, I've been wanting to do a dream board. I just feel like I heard that they really work. And, you know, I just want to accomplish things. Okay. They do really work. She's right about that. I have definitely, even in my own personal experience, literally have accomplished exact things. And sometimes, you know, in the beginning of the year, you might... That's what I love about dream boards is that, like, you might add something... <laughs> and be like, I don't know how the heck I'm gonna get this, or yeah, right, I might not get it. You know what I'm saying? You might have like a little bit of doubt, but you put it on there anyways. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, a few months later, you literally have it. It's crazy. You don't know how, you don't know why, but you just have it. One thing that I do wanna say though, for me, that's like a rule when it comes to making a dream board or just giving ideas or visions, mm -hmm. um, you have to believe them. Like people be like, I wanna be rich, but they don't really believe it. That's, that's the key, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to like living the life that you wanna live in like, living up to basically attracting everything that you want is you have to actually believe that you deserve, not only deserve the things that you want, but that you can get and achieve the things that you want. Yeah. And for me, that's the most important thing. Um, I have had far-fetched ideas in the past and you can do this very well. You know what I'm saying? I've been like, I want this. And people, are, people around me will be looking at me crazy like, girl, you are not about to get this or that or whatever. And lo and behold, you know, my homegirl Nikkei knows, shout out to Nikkei out there, she knows. <laughs> Cause she is a living proof. We get what we want. You know what I'm saying? One way or I don't know, one way or the other. You know what I'm saying? It might be not right when you want to, but it always eventually happens. And with that being said, every time I put my mind to something, I believe it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm trying to inspire my little sister Nika to do is to actually believe that not only she can she achieve the things that she wants, but that she deserves them and that she can definitely reach them. So. Okay. <laughs> yes, girl, we are on one today. It's gonna be a great, cool little day, and we are going to get this popping. So, pretty much, we got like a cute, you know, I say a few little things. We did go online. I usually like to print all mine out just because, um, I don't know, it's easier and you can like get exactly what you want. So, I printed a bunch of papers. Nika did as well. Um, we do also have a bunch of magazines here. You know, I'm saying a couple of my favorite magazines, some stickers, some cute stickers, scissors. And then of course a glue stick. I personally like to use glue stick better than tape just because it looks smoother, it looks nicer, it looks cleaner. And then of course we have the board, yeah. as you guys can see here. Mine is just plain. Her, hers is white. <laughs> I don't even know why I slipped it up. Okay, 
So um, you could get this board from like literally the 99 cent store. Um, you have them anywhere. Yeah, the school Michael's section. school section. You can get like glitter. I actually think I have some glitter. I might get some in a second from over there. I kind of left that over there, but we will see. So yes, let's get right into this video, you guys. Make a dream board with us, you know what I'm saying? Get that computer, get that printer out, get that glue stick out, get some scissors, and let's start making our dream board. So, what are some of the things that you <laughs> printed? I printed a little, it's so many like, printed things. I know, and they're all kind of confusing. They're not confusing. Yeah, they're as not long confusing. as it makes sense to you, that's all that really yeah. matters. Okay, let's see. So she's over here organizing her. It's so funny because like Mika had made a comment like, what if it comes out ugly? And I just want to say that there's literally, first of all, there's no such thing as like ugly arts and crafts. Like it's just fun, it's creative, it's like a way, a free way to express yourself and have fun. Yeah. But also it's all yours. Like at the end of the day, you can make this board yours in literally do whatever you want. If you want to put a bunch of pictures of the same thing, if you want to put words, if you want to put quotes, if you only want pictures only, Whatever you decide to do, it's your board, so you can do that, you know? So, I feel like the theme for my board is like travel, health, fitness. Cute. We yeah. all love those. Do you feel like yours is like short term or like long term? I feel like, like it's goals. a mixture. Yeah, I was thinking about that because some things yeah. are clearly probably not going to happen until like maybe six months, maybe even a year, but like some things might happen next week. So, Ooh, okay. I oh, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. So She's like, right. there's a lot of things, short and long goals. I like that. Yeah, what are yours? I, you know what I'm saying? I got big mansions, okay? <laughs> I got, I have houses, I have cars, I have travel, I have good food. I got some like designer stuff that I want. I'm really, one of the things that I'm like extremely into is architecture and um, Me too. homes. I don't know, I'm obsessed. I love that too. I like, I can follow like a billion homes. Like, I, I mean pages on Instagram, I follow like so many different pages. Yeah. Um, I just love like really, really nice homes with the movie theater, you know what I'm saying? Just the heated bougie. floors, just some bougie, bougie stuff for a bougie, bougie girl, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, there's a lot, like, you know what I'm saying, you guys? I have a lot of goals, short term and long term, you know what I'm saying? So, um, for me, I don't even, I don't, I'm not gonna put like a time frame on yeah. how soon I'll achieve these goals, cause you know, life is crazy. But, um, these are just overall things that I've been wanting that, you know, maybe I haven't been able to get just yet, cause the money just ain't there yet, but will be soon. You or know just there's a certain time and place for things. Exactly, 100,000%. So, but I do know like for sure when I get a house, I definitely want to get a movie theater up in that thing. <laughs> okay, cause I love movies and um, I have a couple friends that are into real estate and when you, I'm telling you guys, when you guys go and like see the features that these amazing houses have, I mean, they have things that you don't even think you would ever need. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, when you're talking so, about heated floors, I was like heated floors. I know, one time me and daddy were um, watching like, I don't know, Best Mansions or something yeah. like that. Some 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 uh, like, video on YouTube. Yeah. And um, I was like, I, it, there was one. There was a freaking house with a heated driveway. I was like, are you serious? A heated driveway? Yeah. I was like, when Daddy was telling, I was like, that's so unnecessary. But I mean, yeah, you never know. Yeah. I guess you know. I'm I, I'm gonna just say this. Money opens a lot of doors, and like it it can bring, <laughs> it can just show you a lot of things that you might not. You know, have known about. Yeah, different experiences different and opportunities. Experiences, too. Opportunities, a hundred thousand percent. Look at this super cute picture, you guys. Ooh. It's like a cute little like bonfire vibe with like an infinity pool around it with a bomb ass view. You know what I'm saying? Whew! I need that at my house. I feel what I'm saying. What's your dream thing to have in, have in your own, other than a movie theater? Right. <laughs> um, a huge ass closet. <laughs> oh. I must have. Okay, I couldn't even find the type of closet that I wanted on Google. I'm gonna have to like, yeah, I'm gonna have to get like a. I'm gonna have to add that one later to be yeah. continued because, oh my god, it's so funny because one of my really close friends, Yanita, who will be featured on this channel very soon, is really into like she's just really good at interior decorating. She, yeah. um, oh my god, I've seen her. I've seen her work so many different times. Like, 
she's just really bomb when it comes to that and she had just created herself a closet and it looks so freaking good i'm obsessed like she did her own she, closet so yes nice. she did her own closet and she just like one thing about yunita is she always finds like the perfect pieces like yeah. you know like you'll have like a perfect room and then it'll be like oh i'm, I'm missing that one piece you need to go find it <laughs> her room is like so like aesthetically pleasing and just so well put together and i just love it so we're always talking about like, closet spaces and stuff and i mean when you have a lot of clothes you know what i'm saying or even if you don't have a lot of clothes, you can build up your closet, yeah. you know? Or it's just nice to have like an organized, cute closet. Yes, and I do love organization, you know what I'm saying? Me too. It's so funny, you guys, because all my sisters are so unique in like different ways. It's just really interesting to see like what type of videos I can do with all of them. And me and her were like, what video can we do? You know what I'm saying? We're together a lot. And, um,. But I just feel like, I don't know, it's like certain videos, there's like certain things that you could do with each personality, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I thought, I was like, let's do a dream board and it was perfect. Yeah, and I love watching dream board videos or any inspirational videos. Yes, that's like actually mostly what, I, I don't mostly watch dream board videos, but I mostly yeah. watch um, inspirational videos on YouTube. Yeah. That's like my thing, see what I have. So we're getting somewhere, you guys. I have some shoes, I'm so extra. Mm. That your girl been wanting. I have some cute little Balenciagas. I think these are the track runners. And then these cute little, look at these cute little slides with the with the locks. Oh, wow. So freaking cute. This is so me. So we're starting with like cutting out our papers just to kind of see how much space we have left. And then um, we'll probably be able to do the magazines or see what else, you know, we want or whatever. And if you guys are interested in making a dream board, there's so many different ways. You know what I'm saying? There's no like specific rule or way to do a dream board. Um, you could do everything from magazine if you don't have a printer like that's not a mandatory thing or you could like i said write words or or you could draw if you're artistic if you're artistic <laughs> or you that's could use idea. um what is it called the what is it called? electronic vision board that's a good idea yeah there's so many ways that's a really good idea so basically no excuses okay you guys don't have no excuses or any reason to procrastinate on something like this you guys, next year, I have to like, I gotta get my traveling back on. Like, I love traveling. I mean, I, I like being home too, but you know, traveling is just my thing. So I'm really excited to just start yeah. back traveling next you year. You definitely love adventure. Yes, I, I would say so. What's your first place that you wanna travel to after quarantine? When air quarantine go in, um, I, I know for sure, for sure, I wanna do Jamaica for my birthday. Um, I love travel vlogging, by the way, you guys. That is my... Yeah, I really want to make my way over to Jamaica. Um, I went to Jamaica when I was, like, younger, but not, like, in my adult life. Oh. I am not about to play with this wind. I ain't even going to complain about the wind today, you guys, because it has been scorching hot. I know. Like, literally 100 degrees. I don't know what is going on, but that kind of felt good. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, I got I gotta do Jamaica. I wanna go all over. That is my plan for January. I love going. I always like to leave usually to the Caribbean or somewhere tropical for my birthday because every single freaking year it always rains in January on my birthday. Really? And I think I think it was when I turned 20 or 19. I think I turned 20. And I remember I had my hair pressed. That probably was the last time I like straightened my hair. And it was my birthday and I, I had like this whole brunch planned and it was like not too far from the beach, which probably wasn't the greatest idea. Yeah. And um, I just remember my hair got so poofy and I just was like, I'm never doing my birthday in LA ever again. So best believe when I turned 21, I was out of here. I basically want to go like all over though. I want to do like, um, our dad is from Kingston. So I was thinking I'm, I'm gonna just save Kingston for when I go with my dad. Like I'd rather just like travel there with yeah. him kind of thing. So I'm, I plan to just go to Ocho Rios, Montego Bay, and then the grill. I want to do like a big like Ooh, cool trip. Uh, it's gonna be so fun. That sounds fun. So I already started planning it, okay? But um, before then, who knows? I mean, I mean, I'm just hoping that quarantine, quarantine is up by then, but you know, we all kind of just have no idea what is going on right yeah. now. So we're gonna just have to wait it out and see. Well, I want to start reading more, dressing cuter, you know. With couple goals expand, that you have. Yeah, expand my closet. Yes, that's a great goal to have. So I love fashion. Oh wait, we both love fashion. Yes, I love clothes. For me, my closet started getting built. I was young, you know what I'm saying? Once I started making a little bit of money, I was like, okay, I can get myself anything I want. So I've always been into shopping uh, for myself for a very, very long time. 
So it kind of just built over time. Um, I do have like a few techniques that I like to do certain things. Like I don't like, I don't, I'm not really like a big shopping spree type of person. Don't get it twisted though. I love being a shopping spree. But as far as like how I built my closet, it wasn't really shopping spree based. It was yeah. more so kind of like gradually just getting pieces over that time. I love. Yeah, exactly. I still need to turn off my phone because it just keeps terrorizing us. I love when I see something and I could just visualize myself doing it or being there. Like a lot of these, I that's really what you think. have to do though. Yeah. Like uh, that's part of like that's part of the believing aspect is like actually visualizing yourself having or living or doing whatever it is you're trying to do yeah. or have. I swear, like once you have that thought in your mind, like you guys, it's real. Like anybody that has ever told you guys, like they, oh you can't get that just because it's not realistic to them. Be that dreamer. Be that like people like to call us delusional per person. Okay. Be that like delusional, you know what I'm saying, uh, or sky reaching person. Yeah. Or Cause. unexpected. Because people are always going to be like, oh, you can't get them. And it's like unexpected of you to get it. It's just that at the end of the day, the way that we all as humans think, in my opinion, is that we kind of just project our own thoughts based off of our own lives yeah. and our own experiences onto other people. So like, you could literally walk up to a person, think something about them and be completely off because you're only basing it off of your own view, your own way of life, yeah. you know, your own experience. So, and then it's completely not what, what that looks like, you know? And that being said, you could like have lived a certain life. A lot of older people like to do this, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, <laughs> I noticed that like sometimes young people, we like to be rebellious and do whatever the heck they want to do. And old people like to guide us, which, you know, I'm all for at the end of the day. But sometimes it is a different experience. Hold on, it's a little outside. Sometimes it will be a different experience. You kind of just have to know when to like listen and when to not listen. Yeah. Or take guidance, but not necessarily like, you know, take it to the heart type of thing. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, everybody's experience is going to be different. So just because they're like, no, that ain't really. So people, people have literally told me, you can't do that because when I tried to do it, it didn't work. Okay, it didn't work for you. That don't mean it's not going to work for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like. I've noticed that a lot of people get discouraged based off of what other people got to say. Like, who cares what they got to say? You know what I'm saying? They're not living your experience. They don't know what you do or what you put in. Yeah. And I'm telling you guys, you never know. It might just be a little bit more energy than they did. If they would have just stuck it through a little bit longer, they would have got whatever it is you're trying to get. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I've just like proven it to myself even. Even when you when you have moments of like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, you know, moments do my doubt. goal or whatever. Huh? Moments of doubt. Moments of doubt. Um, and then it happens. Those are the type of things that keep you motivated. You know what I'm saying? You gotta yeah. remember, like, you know what? I accomplished whatever it is what I wanted to accomplish. Or a quote that I kept seeing was like, um, remember when you wanted what you just had? Yeah, I love that quote. Like, that's so true. Remember when you wanted what you have right now. Yeah. I think that's the quote. Mm -hmm. And it's true. And whew, that's why it's like, sometimes you gotta just stay focused because it could be right around the corner, you guys. Like, yeah. And I just love that motivation, that idea, that thought, like, to know that, like, it could really be tomorrow. You never know, like, I swear, the sky is the, sky is the freaking limit, and even past that. <laughs> so I am going to start placing my pictures, you guys. I have a bunch of different houses with pools, and oh my god, I didn't realize how much um, I liked the little bonfire vibe. <laughs> okay, I really have like so many bonfires. Yeah, I feel like you definitely would vibe when it comes to houses. I, I, I'm like, a, I love modern. I love modern, I love boho. I love plants. I'm a plant mom, you guys. Like, I'm really obsessed. She's really obsessed. I'm really obsessed. Okay, I have like so many plants. I'd love to show you guys that as well. This is coming out so cute. I get so excited. Oh, by the way, guys, I got the super cute romper from Chris Benjamin collection. Super, super cute stuff. I have that romper as well, and I love it. It fits super nice. Super comfortable. Yeah, it really is. Okay, so we are just adding the last few touches. And I think we are done. Oh yeah, by the way, Chris has made a feature. This is my baby. You guys, you guys don't know, I'm a mom, and this is my daughter. We're twins. Yeah, she's the greatest. Okay, so here is our final board. So freaking cute. I love it. So I'm just gonna go over like why I chose what I chose and then I think you should as well. Yeah. So first of all, I wanted something vibrant. So that's why I went with the pink board, super freaking cute. I added some cars that I love, you know what I'm saying? Number one is the Bentley, gotta have that Bentley. I added a super cute coral Lambo right there. 
um, just some really nice modern houses. I love modern looking houses with infinity pools. Um, and these, all these houses were just a vibe. You see they got like the nice color ambient lighting going oh, on and I love cute. that. Thank you. I do have a private jet vibe up here, you know what I'm saying? Gotta be in a private jet. And it also goes with the um, the Bentley as well. There's a private jet right there. I love these YSL shoes. I added just like a couple little like cute little um, items that I've been wanting. Um, love these Louis sandals with the buckles. Super, super cute. And then we have the Louis uh, square box purse as well. That's like a little cute vacation vibe right there, which I love. So yes, I'm obsessed. I love it. I'm feeling inspired already. I'm so happy that we freaking did this. I know, me too. So what is yours? So the theme that I have kind of going on is like travel or you. healthier lifestyle. So basically I want to go swimming. I want to go to Jamaica. I'm going to get a new laptop. And of course, life can't do anything without balance. So, you know, have that balance. And then I want to get a tattoo. I want to read more, make more money, and get my driver's license. Okay. And I also, if you guys didn't know, I'm making a YouTube channel. Yes. And I hope I get 100K. You will. Working towards it, you feel yeah. me? And I want to start doing yoga, win a road trip. So yes, you guys, speaking of her YouTube channel, I will also be linking that down below. She just started her channel. You know what I'm saying? She's super excited. So you guys will be seeing a lot more of her. Um, and yes, I hope you guys enjoyed our video today. We had so much fun and I hope you guys did too. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys again soon.